my manifestors. I intend on affirm you guys are doing well and doing exactly what you should be doing to manifest the life of your dreams. I affirm that you are aware of whatever you're allowing in your awareness because that is fundamental to conscious cre creation. And of course, I affirm that you guys are all safe and healthy. Before I jump in, I'm a mindset and manifestation coach. You may also call me a life coach. If you think you could do with some personal assistance and guidance with regard to your manifestation on your journey and uh, you think that some fine tuning might just help you a little more, then you can just get in touch with me and I will kind of help you detect your blind spots so that you can get your manifestation easily and as effortlessly as possible. Okay, now... There is nothing specific that I want to talk about, but then yes, of course, I have included some of the subscriber questions uh, in the list that I want to kind of talk about today. So the first question is, how do you kind of get rid of um, negative uh, visuals when they come? Okay. The only thing that you have to understand here is like whatever you kind of resist will persist. So if you are having any kind of negative visual, you just have to accept it and let it be. Just accept it that you are having them and then just go about your day. It doesn't matter. Trust me. If you feel that it matters, then it matters because you are creating the rules of manifestation. So I have my own rules to manifest the stuff that I want. I know I have a set of rules and I kind of keep fine tuning them because we are all constantly learning and evolving and whatever little that I know, I constantly try and share them with you guys so that it helps. That's all. Now, when you are having a negative visual, you also got to be mindful of what you are allowing in your awareness. This is all about conscious creation. Now you have the power. Now. I was listening to somebody say something like before you were awake and after you are awake it's the same you are the same person the only difference is that now you just know that you can use your mind to consciously manifest you can manipulate the 3d to suit whatever you are kind of choosing to experience which means you have to be mindful. What kind of shows are you watching? What is the kind of music that you're listening to? What kind of people are you engaging with in your life? What kind of environment are you in? Are you happy or are you in a toxic situation? What is it? What, why is it that you are constantly having these kind of negative visuals? It's okay. You can, you can have them. You can accept them. You can kind of let them be and not focus on them too much. That is one way of doing it. That is a part of doing it. The second is, the second part of doing this is you kind of uh, be aware of whatever you are allowing in your awareness because that is fundamental if you're trying to create something. And then you can kind of have a few visuals because if I assume that if you ask me this question, like you are a visual person, okay, so you kind of tend to visualize a lot more. So have a few visuals which kind of make you feel happy, which make you feel relaxed and calm and blissful, okay? What would give you the most comfort? What would make you feel the most comfortable? Think about it. Create a visual. Create a visual. Deliberately create a visual. And then focus on that. As far as the negative visuals are concerned, just let them be. Don't fight them. Don't fight them. Do not ever fight anything, any negative thought or any negative visual that's coming don't fight it just let it be and trust me if you are focusing on whatever you want they will gradually fade away they will kind of dissipate from your reality that is how it works that is how it always works so yeah that's it okay now uh, when I speak to my clients, I understand the stress and that's precisely why I'm kind of making this video today that, you know, they are, whenever they're doing any technique that kind of they feel that they should kind of um, apply to get their manifestation, there is a kind of stress that they feel because they are not being able to believe it, okay? They are not being able, they're not being able to believe whatever they are kind of telling themselves the inner conversations they don't find them believable and they feel that they are actually pretending now understand something guys manifestation is extremely extremely subjective there cannot be one size fits all in manifestation so 
just be yourself breathe breathe okay first breathe it's okay it is okay you don't have to be someone else you can just be yourself and manifest exactly what you want yes you heard that right i will repeat it just be yourself and manifest what you want you are creating the rules here you are creating the rules here so if you are constantly telling me i am not being able to believe anything that i am affirming or visualizing i don't believe anything which means you have created a rule that if you don't believe you will not get it it's not that it is actually not that create a rule that even if i don't believe it i will still get it and trust me you will still get it and you will you will actually reach a point if you are really focused if you are aware of where your thoughts are going you will eventually believe it and when you believe it it's done it is done you are the god here okay and the god here i decide okay now the next question manifesting from want and manifesting from need and hoping for something to happen and wishing for something to happen so which is the correct way there is no correct way i have hoped for things and manifested them i have wished for things and manifested them i have needed things like crazy and manifested them as well and want is i wanted things and manifested them i'll ex- i'll give you an example of how i manifested something when i was functioning from need i mean i just had one phone at that time and it stopped working at midnight and it was complete lockdown here and i needed i desperately needed a phone and it was complete lockdown due to the covid situation however things worked out in my favor and there was a shop which which is pretty close by and it just it it happened very magically i just don't want to get into the details because it's getting pretty long now and they kind of opened just to give me a brand new phone in less than 12 hours i manifested it from need so it does not matter i don't care i do not care you don't need to care whether you're functioning from need or want and uh, whether you're hoping for it or whether you're wishing for it just decide that if you want it you will get it if you need it you will get it it is okay you are creating the rules just remember that yes of course i am in love with neville i mean i kind of really subscribe to a lot of things that he says the biggest one being like knowing is everything if you know it it's done like feeling is the secret however that does not necessarily mean that you have to feel everything you have to feel it is real every time to manifest it no you have been manifesting all your life i cannot teach you how to manifest you are manifesting anyway you have been manifesting all your lives it's like what i can teach you is how to kind of really understand what works for you and how you can completely fine tune it so that you can get what you want and how you can just do it so my way of manifesting things is like i saturate my mind with the thought that i want to think okay i just kind of completely that that's precisely why i come completely constantly harp on it okay that saturate your mind i kind of I, till it becomes a dominant feeling but do i hold that state i am human i am after all i'm human right i'm having a human experience so i forgive myself when i have those <coughs> sorry when i have those human moments it's okay it's fine it does not matter it doesn't matter i can have 10 human moments in a day and still manifest exactly what i want i can react to the 3d and still get what i want i would i mean i would not prefer to but then sometimes i if we all react to the 3d it is okay it's completely okay forgive yourself be kind with yourself you are a god having a human experience so forgive yourself it's okay it's all good do not bash yourself up up because you are you reacted to something no it's not relevant it's not important create your own rules guys create your own rules that's what i primarily teach my clients okay like i have changed my teaching techniques a little so i kind of help them understand what kind of releases the resistance most for them and then to function from there and that's always the easiest way out to manifest anything So even if you have resistance if if I have resistance to manifesting something I will just create a new rule that even if I have resistance I will still get it 
so it's you are functioning from the law of assumption understand it the law of assumption is based on everything that you are assuming so if you assumed something and you created something that you don't like all you got to do is just change your assumption and it will shift as always so you don't have to worry you don't have to pretend be yourself calm down breathe just be aware you just be yourself but then i would like to add a word here just be aware of yourself just be aware of where your thoughts are going and then just you know like neville talks about impudence just like a like an impudent toddler say no i want this i don't care what the 3d is showing me i do not care what the 3d is showing me i want this i will get this i will get this the more you kind of keep saying that your focus is constantly shifting to what you want and it will manifest it will manifest cool okay now i just remember something guys i mean no one is a better manifester than you you are a born manifester no one is better than you we are all the same we are all powerful as hell manifestors we are like we are like breathing manifesting beast okay walking this planet we are manifesting beast walking this planet so own your power own your power get up own your power and say i am a manifesting beast i am going to get this okay i am going to get this i don't give a damn how because that's not my lookout i want it i will get it i want it i will get it i want it i will get it and trust me the more you say it your focus is shifting on what you want and it will harden itself into a fact in your reality it will it has to it's spiritual law Okay. So, yep. And uh, before I end this techniques, okay? Techniques, affirmations. I love to affirm. Scripting, visualization, hearing technique, sats, getting into the state, everything. Everything works. Every damn technique works. Everything. You can use uh, the you know what was that uh, technique drinking water you know the, those law of attraction techniques everything works if you assume it does i cannot say that this technique works and this technique does not work i cannot say it as a master manifestor as somebody who has somewhat understood what this is all about i can never tell you that this does not work because if you believe it works it will work for you and if you believe that it does not work it will also stay loyal to you and it will not work for you so which precisely means every technique works based on your assumptions your beliefs your thinking your thoughts your inner conversations your conversations with others every technique works you just have to kind of play around you have to understand which works for you So I know there are a list of things my I kind of speak to myself that's a technique that I use constantly constantly I know I know that's that's how I function so my inner conversations my mental diet I am like I'm on top of it I try and try and stay on top of it as much as possible of course I have my human moments and I forgive myself and I kind of get back up so every technique works if you believe they work every technique will work for you every technique okay you can use them all you can use one or you can just say that i said it if i said it, it's done it's done and then it's done so manifestation is supposed to be easy be yourself and manifest just be yourself take a few deep breaths and just focus on what you want and that is it and just manifest like a god like a god just manifest like a god okay now So just remember that you do not have to change anybody else out there there is there is no separation okay there is no one separate than you whatever you are assuming of them they will, they will do exactly what you want them to do they will do exactly what you want them to do exactly and uh, yeah and before i wrap up i want to kind of give you guys an affirmation which might work because i kind of it might help you ease that uh, resistance a little that tension that kind of builds in your body that anx- anxious energy which you feel like okay no this is not working so try and hold the state where you kind of feel 
like okay you have your manifestation even if it's for 5 seconds and then you tell yourself like wow that was easy wow manifesting that was so damn easy manifesting this was so damn easy manifesting is so damn easy it's easy wow it's easy get it you will instantly see instantly feel the shift inside you it has to happen it has to happen it will shift just say it that was easy wow that was easy wow that was damn easy right play around play around play around you got nothing to lose no matter what happens you're getting your stuff that is the first rule that you have to kind of drill it inside your mind that no matter what happens no matter what i do i will still get my stuff play around be yourself just play around with manifestation test it do it manifest it okay thank you guys for watching i love you guys yes i should wrap up sorry if this is long but then some things take time you know like some things takes some things take time to be explained yeah so yes do not ever forget your self concept affirmations because that kind of keeps you in power okay and yes do not ever give up never give up never ever ever give up because if you can think it you can get it so if you could think something you can manifest it you were born to manifest all your desires just remember that don't ever give up bye